Hey, this is Jason Elder with a random small steps with Seth Potts. And I have something to show you in Excel that I just discovered yesterday. And so with me is Seth Potts. Seth, how we doing? Doing great. Doing great. All right. So here it is. So if you've uh, ever heard me go on a rant about Excel, I always, always complain about the reporting capabilities in Excel. Like it's just not easy and direct to, cr to summarize a spreadsheet into a report to where you're, you got all your dimensions and maybe you're, you're counting records or you're summing dollar amounts. It's never been straightforward in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with you. It's uh, you talk about limitations sometimes. This is definitely something that comes up. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm interested to see what you got here. All right, so I'm sharing my screen. So this is just some sample arrest data that I have. Not a lot of records here. We only have 129. But let's say here, out of this data, I wanted to create a report summarize this by three or four dimensions, maybe by race, gender, reporting area, maybe month, something like that. And I want it to look like a, a spreadsheet report and not this pivot table outline that you would normally get, right? I want it to look like this with values counted here. So I want my, my gender repeated, my reporting area repeated, my month repeat type thing, right? Until yesterday, the only way I knew to how to do that is to take my columns here, copy them over, do a, make this distinct, and then do a count ifs or sum ifs calculation here, right? And then you're you're using these dimensions here to count the number of records over there. And that takes about 30 steps. I mean, 30 mouse clicks. I mean, it's just way too much. I thought it was like, that's way too much effort to have a report look like this, okay? So, what I discovered yesterday though in Excel, and this is, I guess is as of the 2019 Excel version, is they have an option now to display pivot data in tabular form. And so where you go is you create the pivot table as if, as you normally would, and you come up to design, and now there's this layout option over here. And so what I can first do is I wanna remove all subtotals cause I don't need those. And then there's a layout option to show in tabular form. And then there's another option here to repeat all labels. So now I have this data Re in a more table form, and now it has all the capabilities of a pivot table, and it's in the right format that I wanna see it, where I have reporting area repeated, I have race repeated, it looks like a table report that I normally would wanna see, and that maybe that you would you would see maybe if you created this data in access or any of the reporting functions, you won't have the the outline of a pivot table that it by default is there. The data would look like this. And so you can do, you know, you could add any kind of uh, summarization to this, min, max, some count, and it's going to have this information in a more tabular 
looking form. And you could, you could, if you didn't want this in, in a pivot table, you could just copy this over to another tab and it would just have the data there if you don't like the look and feel of some of the features in the pivot table. But as I mentioned, this is something that I've been wanting to do in Excel for a really long time. I learned about it yesterday and I, even yesterday, I used it five different times in working with data yesterday. So Seth, I'll bring you back on. I just wanted to get your reaction to what I just showed you. Yeah, that's that's phenomenal. Um, yeah, you're right. Sometimes you, you would come across stuff that you wish it would do. Um, I know I'd mentioned this before. A lot of times I've just kind of poured through those tabs at the top to uh, figure out, just out of curiosity, how'd you stumble across this? So actually another coworker was was going through and he he right clicked on a dimension. No, I'm sorry, he didn't right click on a dimension. He went to field settings. And then under layout, he clicked repeat item labels. And I don't remember ever seeing that before. And I was like, whoa, how did, you know, and I was just shocked that he showed me. And then I started to do more research. And at first I thought, oh, do you have to click on this for every dimension? And that's when I found the design feature here where you could do it for all dimensions and you could do it very quickly right so yeah, yeah that's so that's nice. how i discovered it just yesterday so another yeah. co-worker you know, had had been well, using that's that awesome. that's, that's that's why we share right <laughs> yes. stumble across these things uh no I, I like it um i know we talk a lot about how in excel yeah it has the capability of doing a lot of things but sometimes like you mentioned some stuff takes quite a few steps to to get it like you like so uh yeah it's always cool seeing when when your thoughts of oh, man i wish it could do this um pop up in one of the one of the updates so it's kind of like a, a phone updates a lot of times you don't know what those updates are unless you read something about it so yeah uh 2019 they must have you know added this function and uh you gotta you discover it one way or another so yeah that's pretty cool yeah, so it would be all versions after 2019. So the 2021 yeah. version, and if you obviously have 365, you're going to have always yeah, have the latest and greatest stuff in Excel anyway. But as of 2019, yeah. this is the feature there in, in Excel. So I'm super yeah, excited. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm totally <laughs> geeking out on this right now because that has been a thorn in my side. I've gone to conferences and sh when I teach Excel, I usually say like, okay, all you experts out, of, out here, do you know how to do this? Because this, again, for years, the only way I knew how to do it is to use a sum ifs or a count ifs function and that as i said that's pretty complicated to set up and now you can do this with in the pivot table function with just a couple clicks on the mouse so i am really excited ab about this oh yeah i always love always love uh finding out there's an easier way to do something that you've struggled with for a while yeah so all right so hey if you have any comments about this leave us a comment below and uh maybe from time to time as seth and i find something cool in, in excel we'll uh we'll reconvene real quickly and do a small steps special edition for now thank you all and let me know what you think